One of my favorite dishes is actually char siu. Every time I go to a hawker center or a food court, the first thing is if I can't think of anything else, is the char siu or chicken rice. I, I had this passion to find the best one we can. So I decided, okay, I must well do it myself. Hi, I'm Anthony. I'm the co-founder of Char Restaurants. When I first came into Singapore, and it was a visit brother of mine, I had just actually graduated, so I was um, being offered a job in England, but then I had a lot of free time, so I came over. And at that time, it was very easy to find a job. I'm a computer science uh, graduate. I work for various um, Singaporean companies and international companies. You know, about five years ago, I decided that I want to do something that I'm passionate about, that has, has some meaning. So I just, I've always wanted to open a restaurant. I thought to myself, if I don't do it now, while well, I'm still young, <laughs> right, uh, I'll never do it. Let's take a risk and, and try it out and hope for the best. Char is a very casual, family-oriented place. In terms of the food, we infuse Cantonese traditional cooking with a bit of science. For me, like Tasu is something that maybe is a little bit more difficult to, to do, so that's kind of a challenge for me. I decided, okay, how can I take my love of that and then maybe make it better? I, I didn't know I could, but it was just I like to experiment. I used to do a lot of chemistry, so uh, I used a bit of science involved. Really just kept on experimenting, and it took nearly a year to, to get the the recipe correct in terms of the textures and the flavors and things like that. We were, I think, one of the first few restaurants that actually use a different cut of meat for, for the tashu. We are very specific in terms of the temperatures that we use. It takes three different uh, cooking methods to get to the final product. And we use over 30 different ingredients just to get the kind of umami taste uh, correct. I know it takes a lot of the skill away from the uh, master roaster, but again, we also allow us a kind of a consistent quality as well. Because the amount of ingredients we use right, is very complex. It's not just a, a piece of meat with, with some sweetness to it. The first sensation we'll see is it's very, very tender, very soft, almost melting in the mouth kind of. You know. And then after that, then the burst of flavors from the marinade and the sauces that you have. Right. So it's very difficult to, to describe. You, you have to come in and, and eat and, and taste it yourself. Some of the other dishes that we have, especially the roast pork, again, it's a very traditional Cantonese uh, style kind of cooking, but we infuse it with European herbs and spices. That adds an extra twist and a little bit more flavor to the meat. Actually, for the roast duck, is, is interesting. We opened a, um, a franchise in Manila, so we were testing the, the kind of quality they had. We used one, which is a local duck. We just realized using the current recipe that we have, it was too tough. I was researching online, how do we tend the, rice, the, uh, the meat without actually using chemicals and it, it led to me this is that tea is actually a natural tenderizer so we did a lot of experimentation when we launched the, the franchise in, um, in Manila we used tea as the tenderizing agent for our roast duck so not only does it tenderize the, the, the meat it also adds a very subtle jasmine tea flavor when that was, was quite good we, we took that recipe and came back into Singapore as well when we were younger, we always go out on, on a Friday night and then uh, we always want to either want to eat something or drink something. Now sometimes when we want to eat Chinese food, it's very difficult for us to do that in, in one, one place. So what we realized is that why can't we have a Chinese restaurant with craft beers, with, with wines? To extend from that idea is actually a lot of the meats that we have can be paired with certain kind of wines and kind of, kind of uh, beers as well. So for example, uh, apple and pork go very well together. We imported a lot of ciders from England. So as you're eating the roast pork or the tar siu, and then you're drinking the, the beer, it kind of mixes together. So it kind of a nice pairing there. One of the things that, that we, we do try to pride ourselves is that we want to maintain the quality as much as we can. So on certain days when the food is wrong, I will literally just throw it away. And, and then unfortunately, customers will have to wait, it needs to be recooked. We, we get a lot of complaints from that, that it will be slow and things like that. My philosophy is that I don't want to serve something that people are not going to like. Unfortunately, sometimes when that happens, there will be a waiting time and I will not com compromise on that. I've been quite lucky. There were various stages along the way when we were recognized by the industry. The first time was when the Straits Times came in and they, they wrote about us and wrote about our background. The second time was the New York Times wrote about us and then we got people from New York and Washington and Los Angeles emailing me asking for the recipe. Even to the point where it says, I can order a free credit card, can you send it to me over the plane, you know? And I go, sorry, by the time it gets there, it's already ruined. We had people uh, from Batam or Bintan says, okay, we're coming now, can you reserve me a table? Once people appreciate what you do, I think that is fantastic. 
And then of course when Michelin came in and they recommended us as part of the Michelin Guide, it makes you feel, you know, you, you are you appreciated rather than being proud of it. A lot of our customers are actually families and friends that just want to gather in a nice casual place to eat. So uh, every time we see people smiling and laughing, it says the, the louder they are, actually the happier we get. So, you know, when they're drinking and then they're eating and they're, they're celebrating, uh, it gives us a warm feeling.